What am I doing? It's okay, it's fine. I'm just trying to engrave an egg. Okay, so we're here a couple of weeks ago. We're still dealing with this. This is the new aesthetic for now, just very drywall. But we are back today and testing out more of Amazon's most wish for. And if you're new here, Amazon's most wish for is a list that they put together in a bunch of different categories of things on people's wish lists. It constantly gets rotated. There's always new and exciting and cool things on there. And it's really interesting to test out things that people are like really excited about. Are they worth getting excited about? I don't know. And the fun part about this video, in case you couldn't tell before, and in case you missed a video from a couple of weeks ago, we're doing some minor renovations in here. So we've had to like break up this video a little bit so people can come in here and like do measurements and do construction things sometimes it's like outside on the wall I don't know so you will be seeing me on <laughs> several different occasions and on top of that we're also getting ready for a family vacation so there's also suitcases everywhere and I'm very excited because I feel like I haven't talked about this brand a lot on this channel but today's video is sponsored by Halara and if you are not new to my Rachel Loves channel you would know how much I love Halara they do a lot of athleisure clothing tons of different fabrics and styles and lengths and colors to choose from and if anyone loves a good athleisure wear it's me. And since we're doing a trip with some of my extended family we're gonna go somewhere so warm and summery I figured we could try on some outfits like put them all together as I'm packing anyway. I'm here reporting live from upstairs. We're starting with the airport fit because we need something comfy, we need something cozy, we need something easy. And black joggers are the only logical choice. These are made of like a yoga pant material so they're not gonna be too hot or too cold. Very important on a plane. And then pairing that with a really easy, same sort of like stretchy yoga pant crossover t-shirt, which is again, versatile because we're gonna be going on a lot of excursions. This is a family trip, and it's gonna be hot. Am I normally a skirt girly? No, I'm not, but I am when there are shorts attached. They have nice deep pockets on both sides, which is important because I will pack everything. Everything that my family needs on vacation, but my phone must always go into a pocket. You never know when you need to take those like really quick little picks. So I think this is adorable. Super flirty and fun little tennis skirt, and this color is Mars Red, in case you're wondering. Ugh, obsessed with this color. But now I've used this top for two outfits, and I was stubborn and need to know if I could make it three. And turns out, yeah, yeah, I can. These are a wide leg, flowy cotton pan. They almost have this like linen-like quality to them. Super stretchy, so comfortable, tall. Do I have these also in the shade rosette? Absolutely I do. Did I need them in black? I mean, obviously. And this has been a very good exercise for me when I'm trying to pack, because I can act, I have to physically put on my outfits to see what I'm gonna be bringing with like respect to makeup and jewelry and everything. I thought these earrings, let me know what you guys think. I think they're really pretty. And maybe even like a belt, is that too much? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But these pants, if you've been in the market, for some like nice comfy, but like they look like structured, you know what I mean? Like they have that linen like quality. Run and get these, they are unbelievable. All the colors, sizes, lengths, everything I'll list down below as well as some of my favorites from Halara. In case you're new to the brand, you wanna check them out. I have two different coupon codes you can use. Rach20 for 20% off all full priced items as well as $10 off and when you spend $100 or more with H10YT. So you can use either one of those. Thank you so much, Alara, for sponsoring today's video. And now let's dive into some Amazon gadgets, starting with a couple of days ago. I don't know. I feel like I want to start easy. Is that bad? Because one of the products that I saw is one of those ones that um, helps the bottle to be a bottle that's like this, helps it to be upside down. So it like comes out easier. So you're not just like, Whole time, you know? But I don't actually know if it's gonna fit on all of these different bottles, so we're gonna try some. And it's this little guy, this little guy right here, and um, probably should have looked up the instructions to do it, but we're gonna figure it out together. Take this lid off. Boo! I don't know. Mayhaps it goes like this? Are they different sizes? Or are they just different colors for for fun? Why would you give me three? I don't understand. Sometimes when I buy things in advance, I forget what it does. Okay, it says that they're each different sizes. Can you see these at all? It says it has different gasket sizes. You can't just, you know, throw in gasket and me being like, okay, well, I guess so. Different adapters. One's a small, medium, and a large adapter. I, I didn't create your product. Oh, I see. I see it now. I see it. You're probably all yelling at me. You're all like, Rachel, <laughs> pay attention. I had to see it from this this specific angle, then you can see that this has l more space in it and this one doesn't. All right, so it goes onto this guy like this and then you fit this into, into this 
like that, but you have to find the right, the right size. Pretty sure it goes like this, and then it, this goes like this, like that. Well, um, my very average looking uh, Dijon bottle doesn't fit it. Okay, okay, that's actually, you know what? I have a real life need for this. Hang on, hang, mm, it's a pump bottle. I'm wondering if I can take it, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna try it, hang on. Oh my gosh, it does, it does come apart. This is a body lotion, but it's this, I'm obsessed with this. If you are looking for a good moisturizer, this is neither here nor there. I really love this one. I just really do. Anyway, this is like my third bottle of this stuff and I'm like running low. And I also took some, cause I'm sorry, I'm doing the whole packing thing. Trying to get ahead. I wanna leave you guys with like no videos. So, you see me trying to like savor every last bit of it. Now it's on my pants. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So, I'm hoping this one will work. Cause I would literally, I'm trying to like get the last little bit into the thing. Anyway, please tell me one of you will fit this guy. Okay, I need it in like this. That's too big. Please work, please work, please work. Nope, and that's the smallest one. I feel like I'm not asking a lot. <laughs> Maybe this one's better, no. I just, I had to check, you know? And like, this isn't gonna work because it's the largest one. So if you don't fit this, and you don't fit this, it's so specific then. What are you supposed to fit? Hmm, what about you? Third time's the charm, she said. Hoping, well, that's not that one, but you. Oh my gosh, finally everyone, we found a winner. Wow, make sure you know what you, for a second there, I thought it was gonna fit with the adapter thing and I was gonna lose my mind. I didn't see anything online in terms of saying like, this fits this size of opener. Like that would be good information to have before you go out and purchase this. Ta-da! I assume this just like comes off as like a lid. Yeah, oh, oh right, right, right. Yeah, I knew this. It just opens like a little, like a little, you know, and then you can wash your hands very aggressively. Ah, okay, well, I gotta clean my hands anyway. This is, it works, it just has limited uses. I'm really sad about it though, cause I just, I really wanted it for this. <sighs> that, that annoys me. But again, if you have ones that are like, you know, this side, this is medium. This is, you know what, I'm gonna measure it for you. You're welcome. You're not like wasting your time and buying something that isn't gonna work for you. Can't have that. This is two and a half centimeters open and that is for the medium size. So take with that what you will um, in terms of the sizing of the other ones, but that is um, what you're gonna get. Not useful for me, but I'm sure there are people that it would be useful for. And now onto a product that I again filmed on a different day. This is something that I, I just, I keep seeing over and over and I needed to test it. And it's this water vase that creates this, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Christopher? Vortex, what's that thing with the water? And it spins, it's a vortex, right? The vortex. Whirlpool? Was it whirlpool? Vortex might be only in air, but I'm not sure. Oh. It's definitely a whirlpool. I thought you meant like the brand and I was like, no. Okay, what is happening with this? Oh, we have a plug. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Okay. Metal plate facing down. All right, what else do we have in here? Instructions for a pitcher of water. Very important. Ta-da. Okay, I feel that it is important that I reframe this. Hang on. Okay, hopefully you can see it a little better. We have this little thing with the metal thing down. We have this, we have to put in the white impeller. I don't know how we put it in carefully. Carefully inside the glass. Ah, is that where it's supposed to go? I feel like not. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Okay, well, it's in there. Then we need to put this in. So now I'm gonna fill it with one and a half liters of water. Now I'm going to unplug it because I think it's works on rechargeable batteries. Whoa, you could hear something like whirring in here. Okay, and now I think I just put this on, on top of here. Woo! It's spinning around the little thing. Of course my light dies, hang on. All right, light is back. You can see there is a little whirlpool vortex, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's quite loud is the only thing. Like I was expecting this to be a lot more quiet. It's not, but I mean, it does work and it looks cool. I don't know if it makes a difference in terms of water, but it is fun to look at. Is it worth the 
I don't know how many hundreds of dollars that it was. You can put other liquids in it too. It doesn't need to be just water. But Chris was like, can you put wine in it? I'm sure you could. I don't know if that's worth how much money I spent on this, but it is cool to look at. Next thing we're gonna try um, scares me a little bit. And I, <laughs> I've actually had this one and it's been sitting in my pile of like, most wish for products to test. And then I always find something like really exciting last minute and I like throw it in there. <laughs> That's why this video is split up into so many parts. But now is the time. Now is the time we need to try it and it's like an etching pen. Now you can use this etching pen for a variety of different purposes and it seems to be people are really excited about it. You can use it on metal, glass, plastic, eggs, you know, like like Easter eggs. And it came with a lot of stuff. Cause like looking at it online, I'm like, wow, that looks really like fun and <laughs> pretty. It looks like a pen. And then it comes in with all these like drill bits and stuff. I'm like, oh, gotten myself a little over my head. So it looks very pretty. It drills stuff. So <laughs> we're gonna try it. It gives zero instructions too, by the way, just in case you are curious, because I was curious. I'm like, are they gonna give me some like tips and tricks? Like, you know, um, use the pointy ones for uh, sanding and the ball ones for metal. I don't know. You can tell I'm very talented at this, but there are no instructions. So I feel like the world is my oyster and I can pick whichever shiny metal bit I want. Yeah. There are also these guys, which are separate. I don't know why. Also these, maybe for specific things. I'll check on the, gotta check it again, you know? Okay, so installation. Loosen the screw, insert the bit, tighten the screw. Speed, yep, got it. These are things it can do. What are the bits though? <laughs> Give me information on the bits. RPM motor, yeah, I don't, I don't care. 30 piece rotary bits, one piece, one millimeter, one piece quenched, quenched bit. Handle extension rod, saw blade. These are all words that are in a world that I don't know, but that's okay because you know what? Well, we can buy things and try things. That's what I'm here for. Now, I'm, not, I'm not using these saw things though. That's not happening. Okay, I found a tin. I found a, I found a tin of more skincare. I'm gonna try and etch it. And it didn't say anything about safety. Um, I'm gonna put on these sunglasses just in case because I don't know. I don't know this world. It gotta be safe. It gotta be so safe. Oh, I look awesome. Love these glasses so much. I better not get any metal on it. Which pointy bit do I want? This pointy bit looks fun. All right, we put it in and then we screw it, screw it in. You said, hoping that this is doing something. Something. Nope. Put in, and then that's just spinning it. Loosen the screw. Oh my gosh, I have no idea. I need Christopher. Hang on. Christopher to the rescue. I didn't realize the Allen key, they, there's like a literal screw. Hmm? Sorry guys, I <laughs> failed you all. Seems to be secure. Well, it'd be helpful in the instructions if they showed the Allen key. That's fine. So, let's, um, let's etch some stuff. It is quiet. I'm so scared. Ooh, just professional scratching is what I'm doing right now. I was trying to do cursive and I can't really do that. Are you seeing any of this? Hopefully. There's my R everyone, wow. I miss my calling. Or I should do graffiti on the side of a building because that's what that looks like. The raw talent sometimes, that's why I'm wearing my sunglasses. The next one I wanna try is the egg one because I can't wrap my head around how that is supposed to work. So we'll do a different bit, cause why not? And also I don't want metal all over it. Lefty Lucy, yay. Hmm, which one do I want? I want a long, just a little pointy one, just a little delicato one, you know? We'll do this guy and we're gonna tighten it up. Guys, I'm doing it, so proud of myself. Okay, my hair is really hairing today. It's very soft though, so that is important in my hair growth journey, so. <laughs> okay, so. I have two different egg options to choose from. Number one is a hard boiled egg, but number two is a I guess a blown egg 
where you have like the egg, you took the egg out, you know? So let's start with this guy first. This is the this is the hard boiled egg. We'll do it at a lower speed. Kind of want to do a bunny. But I don't think I can do it. But I'm going to try, I'm going to try. I'm going so lightly because I'm so scared I'm going to like mess this up. I was not showing anything. Maybe I have to go at a higher speed. It's kind of shiny, a circle. They had all sorts of cool, like, intricate designs and stuff. People who do this for a living, kudos to you because this is hard. Sometimes I look at myself and I see my, what am I, what am I doing? It's okay, it's fine. I'm just trying to engrave an egg. Okay. If you look, if you look at it in a certain light, the whole shell is vibrating. Ah, I cannot see it. I cannot see it. I think I'm just using the wrong bit. One more, one more. What happens when we try one of the more, I don't know, one of the, the thick, thicker ones? It's like a little, like a ballpoint pen situation. Well, there's my bunny. Let's try another bunny over here. Whoa, the dust is flying. Oh, I'm such an artist. Aha, I was just using the wrong thing. That's okay. You can see that, you can 100% see that. She said, hoping that the footage would actually show something. Whiskers and then a smile. But honestly, it does work. Okay, okay. Let me try. Let me try it with the with the just the egg, the egg. I was gonna say yolk, the shell, the shell. Look at that, everyone. It's a heart. It's there. Okay, so does this work? Yes, it does. Does it require someone with a lot more talent than me or a willingness to learn? Yes, it does. I have a lot of respect for anyone who picks this up as a hobby. This would be excruciating for me personally as a person, but um, I can respect the hustle. Now I want to go on to a... I don't need my sunglasses anymore. I don't know why I'm wearing them. You know what? No, it's a vibe. I need to keep my hair off my face anyway. The next thing is something to help with washing, and I don't know if you're a household that does a lot of smoothies or juices or blends a lot of sauces and stuff, but sometimes those containers are very difficult to clean and I don't love it. I find it gross and um, this is supposed to help that. There are these cleaning beans. So essentially there are these like little squishy things that I assume break up a lot of the gunk on the side of glasses and things like that, or water bottles. And they have two metal balls in them, hence the like sugar snap pea vibe, which is really cute. So basically you toss these into a bottle and you shake it around and it's gonna like break up all that stuff. So I wanna test that, but I need Chris to make a smoothie first. Cause really other than the green juice that I make, which is beyond incredible, it's the best thing ever. I don't really, I'm not a big smoothie girl myself personally. There's like a couple of them I'll have, but like not a ton. Chris really enjoys them and has them quite consistently, like a lot of like protein shakes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make him make one and then I'm gonna try and clean the container with it. So we'll see. Hey Christopher. Hello. Do you wanna make a smoothie so that I can test these things to see if they clean the container? Can, can you do, do that? that? Okay, perfect. You do that. I have to test it. I have, an, I have another thing to test, so hold on. We're gonna test another product while Christopher makes and consumes his smoothie, which I'm sure is delicious. But the other thing I thought we could test, and we have to go on a little, we have to go <laughs> to go test it, is um, this guy that I thought would have a lot of value for myself personally. It's supposed to be sort of like a, a pillow thing to help support when you're on your iPad or you're on your phone or your computer or whatever and you wanna like sit somewhere comfortable like a couch or bed. I like to sit on the couch myself personally, but also but I've been sick for the last little while, which um, I have been actively struggling to get through. I'm usually not one that gets very sick, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm at the tail end, but. <laughs> so I have been isolating myself in my bedroom. So this would have been great to have at the time. So let's go and um, let's go test this out. All right, so here's my side of the bed. You can, <laughs> cold medicine. So this this setup is what I've, I had been working with while I, while I was sick. So um, I mean, not the most comfortable, but not bad. So let's pull out the little thing really good if you have any sort of like triggers, trigger points in your back, anyway. So helpful for 
working. Use the pillow after unpacking for 24 hours. I'm gonna underline 24. Well, let's see what it looks like so far. Ooh. I know that this is the so these are the side pockets that you can put stuff in, which is exciting. I think it's like this, and I think it goes like no, it wouldn't go like that. Ow! Be like this. Well, then what's this? What happens when you don't bring your phone upstairs to look at products that you bought too far in advance? Okay. Well, um, we're gonna give this some time then. Fine. My little. Gray crab can hang out there. Okay, update on the breeding pillow. I've had it for about a week now and I've been trying it in different places. I think that I got a small, I think that's more like child size. Like don't get me wrong, I can I can fit in it. It's not very comfortable though. My kids like it, but like even with the couch and they have their little elbows up, it's still like the shoulders are still like a little bit like that. Not a ton, but like a little bit. And I was trying it with like the computer or on my phone. And again, like I'm still, I was up a little bit, so I don't know. I, I really wanted to like it. And honestly, I was fully prepared to like it. It just, I don't, I feel like it was just a little too high up to be ergonomic for your back, you know? Like I feel like your shoulders and your elbows should be down a little bit more. Or like at least relaxed, we're just like up. <laughs> Let me know if you have one or if you recommend one because I, I like the concept of it and I, I like the idea of having something a little bit more ergonomic, something for like the little, you know, Nighttime. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I have my laptop out and then I have a show going and I have my phone. <laughs> but I have all the screens, so it would be nice. It's just I don't want to like be sitting like that. My shoulders are bad enough already. I don't need more of it. So let me know if you have any recos. And now onto the product that I have been the most excited about. And I filmed it when the first time you saw me, but it hasn't, as of right now, arrived yet. I have had, I, this is, <laughs> I have gone through hoops to get this product. I, think, I hope anyway, I have finally secured it. I finally got it and we're gonna try it out and it is the Kids Clean Car. If you haven't seen all of the TikToks and Instagrams and varying articles talking about this product, it is like a ride along kind of, a, I don't know, cleaning device basically. It's meant for kids, I've seen adults go on it too and then you just like ride it around and it cleans and it has like a, all sorts of cool stuff. And I need to know what it does, number one, how it works, number two, and also there are different speeds, which I'm very excited about. So let's go and unbox it. Ta-da! She a big package. <laughs> ah. Get out of here. Okay. Whew, getting hot. What do you do? Instructions. Hello? I don't see instructions. Oh, okay. Found instructions. I was gonna say, I was like, oh my gosh, was I duped that hard? You even see it? You see it better now? Yeah, okay. Charger, of course. You are the handle. What else we got in here? Bunch of stuff, okay. It's like a little driving, dra driving, I'm too excited. It's a little junior driver's little badge. That's so cute. Instructions, speed set, mopping pan. Oh my gosh, there's so much instruction. Okay, hang on. Let me get this all set up. Okay, I'm back. I got hot. So I turned it on. I haven't done anything else yet, but I did assemble it, which is exciting. My understanding is this is speed and this is a pedal that makes it go. That's all we need to know. I don't know what the blue light is for. I thought it was like UV cleaning, but then the mop is like totally optional. So I don't know. I think it's just a ride around device now. Does this actually do any cleaning? Is this the lowest speed? Low speed. Unless I'm too heavy. Oh no! Oh! Okay, oh, ah! Almost ran into my lights. No backup though. I just have to keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna go bother Christopher in the kitchen, excuse me. Excuse you, Christopher. Hello? What do you think? It might enjoy that. Right? This is way more comfortable. Whee! Ah! <laughs> Let's do max speed now. Can you even see me? I don't know. What's the fastest that this thing can go? Whoa! Okay, oh, ah! Brakes are uh, a little bit on the slow side. Just <laughs> use with caution. Oh boy, this is fun. I wish that there was a reverse. Maybe I've missed reverse. Maybe there is a reverse part. I don't know, I have to figure that out. Is it this? Can I go backwards? No, just forwards. So that's a, that's a miss. 
in my books, I think it needs a backup in reverse. Otherwise, like, what's the point? But is it fun? Yeah, it is. Is it cleaning? Let's take a look-see here. I mean, it. It is cleaning. You can see this is the part that was on my floor versus the part that wasn't. I mean, it is, it's picking up stuff. I did try it with one of those, um, these, these guys, one of these dry cloth things. It's too small for the, for the mop part here. So does it work? Yes. Does it clean? Yeah. Is it missing a crucial element that I think is important if you're gonna have just kids on this thing? Otherwise they're gonna be picking it up and moving it around, which is gonna, move this thing around, it's missing that. That's, that's an important part, especially for how expensive this is. I feel like that wouldn't make it perfect in my world. <laughs> it is fun though. Can you hear it? It's nonstop, just nonstop in our house, they just, they can't get enough of it. They like do little UEs at the end, like it's it's expensive, but oh my gosh, is it fun. <laughs> They've also managed to find a way to, I look, wow, okay. They also sit like one in front of the other, so they'll take like their baby cousin, who's like two and a half, and they'll put her in the front and like go on like a slow speed, or like Connor and Luke will go on it together and like whip around, but yeah. <laughs> I can see why kids love it so much. I mean, it does do cleaning. Connor really likes the cleaning attachment thing. I have some thoughts on the usability of it and I don't want it scratching my floor if the cloth moves, you know? Luke likes it without. Is it UV cleaning? No, but it's, this is real fun. <laughs> Everyone, I flew too close to the sun. The contractor is outside working and he's got like all of his stuff here. So I'm gonna do the, the pee things really quick. I let the, do you love my voice right now? Oh, so I let the stuff like dry on the side of the glass for as long as humanly possible. So we're gonna try and clean it. I'm gonna put these in to the glass, with some soap. Then I'm gonna shake it around. There's still pieces on the side, so I'm gonna try again. Like, is this easier if it's like a water bottle or something? I don't understand. There's just like specific pieces around the side and I can't get them with this. This just feels like too much work. I'd rather just use like a brush like this, which clearly I need to get a new one, but I'd rather use something like this for the glass. The pee's just not working for me. Maybe if you had like a really skinny water bottle and you need to clean, that would be important, but like I need to be able to like direct a brush, you know? It's just not worth it to me. So let me know in the comments, have you tried any of these products before? Have they been on your wish list? Are there something that else that you've been seeing floating around that we should try out next? Make sure you leave me a comment down below or tag me on any social media platform so I can see. Big thanks to Halara again for sponsoring today's video. Go and check out all of the links down below to some of my absolute favorites as well as use the coupon code RACH20 for 20% off all full priced items or $10 off when you spend $100 or more on absolutely anything with HYT. No, H10YT. Oh, so close. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the fun here every single Saturday. I would love to see you again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.